This video tip is part of an extensive series created by the Blue Ram Group for www.freshwatertropicalfishtanks.com and www.tropicalfishaquariumvideos.com to help aquarists understand the unique environment of their aquarium. In tip two, do you really need a stand? of this setup series, we discuss the reasons for placing an aquarium on a properly manufactured stand. We can't emphasize this enough. Furniture is not the right choice in any case. Tables are rarely made to support heavy objects in general, even though the top may appear quite solid. The underlying support holds the table. The legs and braces required to keep the table top in proper shape and prevent warping are rarely in the proper place to ensure that there is an absolutely no variance over time. The only exception is when the table is exactly the same size as the aquarium, which is often only in the case of a designed aquarium stand. Often, the table legs are not made to constantly support the overall weight of the tank and its contents. As mentioned, just a little warp in the top surface over time is enough. The tank has suddenly cracked and the contents are on the floor. This is not a defect in the aquarium. It is it was probably was made correctly and the glass plates were solid enough to do the job for extended periods. The problem is the stress created by the improper support surface that was applied to the glass and the failure was created. Tables are made to hold standard objects, which are not so loaded that minor changes in the table facing would cause stress. The combination of a full aquarium placed on a surface without proper underlying support is definitely not a match made in heaven. But it is not just tables that should never be used. It is even more important to ensure that the aquarium is never placed over electronic equipment. If water is spilled during any time when the aquarium is placed on the stereo cabinet or component cabinet, you can just bet it will fall into the delicate electrical components and probably cause a short circuit. Water always seeks its own level and will move in ways that are difficult to predict. But you can be sure if you have put the aquarium on a stereo cabinet, that any water that is spilled from the tank in any way will find its way into the delicate electric com components. If the tank breaks, then besides the water damage, there goes the electrical units as well. Never place a water container over an electrical component. Always remember, just because the surface appears to be perfectly smooth to the naked eye does not mean it actually is correct to hold up an aquarium. Any place where the surface is higher or lower, in some way not perfectly flat, when contacting the aquarium glass planes is a place where the stress crack can and probably will occur. In most cases, a manufacturer's stand does not even try to support the whole tank. Rather, the supports are designed to hold the four corners only. They must be level. Seemingly against common sense, no other contact needs to be made with the aquarium, and usually is not advisable. As long as there is no pressure along the edges and the four corners are solidly held, the stand will not be able to apply deadly pressure to the glass that will cause a stress crack and break the fish tank. This video tip is part of our ongoing Blue Ram Group project. As the video becomes available, each will be mounted within the FAQ section of the websites. If we haven't answered your personal question quite yet, you can get your particular aquarium related questions answered for free by our experts by filling out the Ask a Question form at the FreshwaterTropicalFishTanks.com website. If you want to be notified as soon as each new video is made public, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to know each time a new video is added to the Blue Ram channel at http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Blue Ram 86.